Gates Adams here on behalf of Apex Trader Funding, and I am here with Emmett today. Emmett, how's it going? It's going good. How are you, Gates? I'm doing great. Thank you. And thank you for your time today. Obviously, we have invited you in here because you have uh, achieved a level of success that everybody is looking for with Apex Trader Funding, and that is actually getting paid. So yes. congratulations on your payout. Now, first of all, is this the first payout that you've had with them? Yes, it is. Excellent. Well, congratulations. How's that? How's that feel after uh, after uh, evaluating and and trading? <laughs> it's been quite the journey, so it feels good to uh, to finally get some money out of this. Excellent, excellent. Well, we love to see that, and that's uh, that's definitely exciting. So, so let's get a little background on you and in, in your trading, if 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 uh, we can, real quick. For, first of all, how long have you actually been trading? Coming up on four years, just okay. over four years, actually. Started in uh, about November of 2019. Okay. Uh, backstory really is that I was a football player uh, here in Canada and due to injury just couldn't really make anything happen of it so I moved back to hometown of Calgary Alberta up in Canada and started seeing kind of what my options were and got into uh, trading as it just seemed like like a really unique and, and interesting uh, thing to do and yeah, over the past four years, there's been lots of ups and downs, and it's finally seems like I've found my groove, and it's starting to to pay out. Awesome, awesome. So let's talk about those early days. What did that early education and and practice? What what, what did that look like for you? <laughs> uh, lots of mental mistakes. <laughs> it's, it, it it seems like you can dissect the market afterwards. And almost always you can see, oh, well, this would have been a perfect entry. Oh, this would have been a perfect exit. And then you get into the live trading and it's, oh my God, it's happening. I need to click buy. I need to click sell. And then you're not following your strategy or plan at all. So it's just a lot of repeatedly hitting your head against the wall until you learn to stop to do that. Stop doing that. Welcome to the world of trading. I think I've <laughs> been there for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, when you started, did you start off with futures or were you trading something else in the beginning days? Uh, I've only been futures. Gotcha. What 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 attracted you to the futures markets? Uh, it seemed like it was at the time when I was when I was first figuring out how much money I could make. It seemed like it was the easiest one to scale in, and uh, with relatively small account sizes, you could still make lots and lots of money. But what I didn't factor in was the learning curve that uh, took a little bit longer than expected. What I think a lot of people refer to as the real cost of trading education. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, have you gone through multiple strategies and 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 setups and things that you that you do, or have you really stuck with the original one and and run with it? No, I've probably changed my strategy 150 times. I've fallen into the indicator trap, which is trying a new indicator every single week. Well, sure. I, I saw this somewhere. So then this has to be the one. It has to be the one that can change everything. But uh, no, for, for about the last six months, I've taken a, a, a large compilation of a bunch of different indicators and kind of Frankenstein them together into a system that seems to be working for me and actually sticking with it and not changing indicators every week has been uh, probably the, the best decision I've made. Awesome. Awesome. One thing that that I, I think that I I've, I know I've said a, a whole bunch of times. I'm sure I heard from somebody else to begin with. But any reasonable strategy is going to work. Any, any yeah. reasonable strategy is going to fail. It really just depends on what meshes with you and and finding that comfort zone and 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 really digging in. So um, I, that's uh, I think that's a that's a really valid point that you say sticking with it and kind of working with it and you know making it yours is uh, I think a big part of, of what ultimately makes traders successful. So. Yeah. I think you have to, you have to find your strategy. It's easy enough to, to, to go in and buy all these different uh, plans and indicators and everything. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't match into your style, then it's, it's never going to work. So <laughs> identifying your style is, is number one and right. then building something around that. Everybody wants that red light, green light. I'm not sure it quite works. That way. <laughs> 
I wish it did, but then everyone would do it. So exactly, you know, I, I, this is a, something that comes out of my mouth all the time. If there was that one holy grail strategy that worked a hundred percent of the time, uh, we would have all found it by now because we all have YouTube and we'd all be sipping my ties on our private islands with our private jets. So, you know, <laughs> there is definitely the art and science of uh, of trading. So, um, now, now let's talk about funding. Now, what point did you did you did did trader funding actually hit your radar? Uh, it would have been about six to nine months ago. Okay. We were we were watching our our actual accounts kind of dwindle, 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 and we were going, "Oh man, this is not sustainable." And browsing through YouTube, I think uh, I think that's that's the first place I saw it was watching a video on YouTube, and they were talking about the the trader funding, and then doing a little online research, came across uh, Apex, and I've been with Apex ever since. All my accounts are are currently with Apex. Gotcha. Now, no holds barred. When you first saw an ad on YouTube about being funded as a trader, what was your first thought that about funding in general? Too good to be true. <laughs> we get that a lot. There's Definitely no way. There's no lot. way. It's there's a one a one step system. Right. Right. But well, sure enough. What are the thoughts now? I love it. I it's the best way to do it. I've brought a few of my buddies. Uh, onto the site as well and yeah, it's 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 far less stressful than putting your own capital up mm -hmm. but at the same time you still get the benefit of trading with a, a full-size account right right now you mentioned all of your accounts how many accounts are you currently working with if you don't mind i got five right now i have three awesome. three pas and two evals in the works gotcha what's what's the ultimate goal uh 20 you want all 20 Oh yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> get the get the trade copier and trade them four at a time. Excellent, excellent. Now, when it comes to trading in a funded account versus an account that you funded, obviously the notable difference there being who funds the account. What's the difference for you in terms of your mindset, your trading habits? What, what, how does that shift for you when you didn't have to make that deposit? I think it, it made me a little more able to take risk. Mm -hmm. So especially at the start when I was first getting into it, it's kind of like, oh, I just pay a, a fee and then I get access to all this capital. But as I've blown a few of the, the PA accounts and the evals along the way, I've slowed down my approach and realized, okay, this you need to take every single day. You just need to not lose your mind. Come right. in and just take your setups. And I've I've noticed that I'm not trying to make a ton in any account. Like my my goal per account is relatively small. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I get close to that, I just switch off to the next account and then get that one and then switch to the next one. And then it's far less stressful than trying to grow one account because you take one loser in that account and you can wipe away all your gains. Exactly. Versus if it's a if it's a fresh account, yeah, you go into the red, but then it's only one account. So you can easily work your way out of it or just stop trading that account and move on to a different one. Right. Right. Now, uh, what's been the difference in your results? <laughs> I'm actually positive. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so is this uh, a four year battle that's uh, finally paying off? Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I hope so. We're, we're still, we're still early in the, in the stages here, but uh, having a pretty good February, March. So hoping to keep that uh, momentum going. To be fair, for me, it's been a 25-year journey that's finally paying off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's good to hear then. I, I still have hope. <laughs> there are absolutely, well, my 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 backstory, if you will, was horrific. And, and it, it really affected my, my, um, my ability to think clearly when trading at any given point. And honestly, um, you know, I... I, I've said this in multiple interviews. I've known Daryl and John for well over 20 years each since before either of them was ever trading. And um, I had direct access to these guys. In fact, I, I had a key role in helping Daryl start the education company. They started almost 15 oh, yeah. years ago and I still couldn't do it. And funding, funding was the key. I mean, not putting up my own money and having the, I mean, that ultimately was the, was the, uh, was what it was able to put me over the edge. So uh, I mean, I, I, I can totally relate to that because when it's your money, you're almost waiting right. for the super confirmed move. And then by the time that everything is confirmed, like you're, you're, you're done. You're too late. <laughs> I already yeah. missed it. Gotcha. Well, um, 
for you now that you're kind of starting to get on that role and moving into that, you know, cash out versus cash or well, cash into you versus cash out. What's what would you say are your biggest keys to success to getting to this point at this at this point now? Not changing my system every week. Sticking it, sticking with it. <laughs> yeah. And and really just kind of finding what, what works for you. Like uh yeah, I've, I've changed my system so many times and actually sticking with it for a period of several months to understand everything that I'm looking at. It's it's a slow journey, but uh, it's a slow process rather. But I think that's super key is you have to just take each step and take it really slow. Right. And, and, and I think that we might get some, some, some of the same information here, but this is one that I just ask everybody. If you're talking to a brand new uh, trader that's for the first time looking at funding, now obviously you should be at a particular level before you start going into funding. But if you're talking to someone who's just moving into the realm of funding, what's the biggest piece of advice that you can give them? Go to Apex. I like that one. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, any last minute uh, comments or uh, or questions for us? Uh, no, I, like I said, I think it's fantastic. I'm uh, super excited about where my journey is, is going and uh, proud to be a part of the Apex family. Excellent. Excellent. And as a Canadian, uh, this behind me here, that is not in response to your nationality. That's just like <laughs> I have on the background here. So anyway, I, I sure appreciate your time today. Uh, this has been fantastic. And I think a lot of great information for new traders who are starting out and 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 really looking to go down this path. And and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this catches the right eyes. So uh, I do appreciate your time. Uh, this is definitely something that we do on, on more of an ongoing basis. So couple months down the road, another couple of payouts. We'd sure we'd sure love to uh to get back with you and kind of just get Absolutely. a recap and, and an update from you. That sound okay? That sounds great. Looking forward great. to it. Awesome. Thanks, Emmett. We really appreciate it. Uh enjoy the rest of your afternoon and we will uh we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. You got it. Thanks.